Lab on a chip, not necessarily brand new, but it's always improving, always developing. We're speaking with a company, Microliquid, um, Dr. Luis Fernandez. Uh, Dr. Fernandez, tell us a little bit about the company and then later about the technology in general. Microliquids is a company which is manufacturing lab on a chip solutions for point of care systems, in vitro diagnostics, and drug delivery. We are started producing, manufacturing, developing also with our clients the disposable devices based on microfluidics. When more and more our clients were demanding also a complete solution, so not just the, the disposable devices, but also the point of care systems. So now we are a company capable of perform or, or delivering a complete solution for lab on chip systems. Okay, can you then explain the step-by-step -step process of product development in cooperation with researchers? Yeah, of course. With our clients first, we need to um, set a number of meetings to completely understand what is the status of, the, of our clients. What, what do they have in their lab? Is that, is that working? What is the, the final certification that they have? How strong or reliable the test is? Once we have all this information, then we also try to understand exactly what is the final goal of the product. What, how do they envision the final products into the market and how can we bring that to happen in a, in a most reliable, robust and quick way for them to, to reach the market. Then we set a team together in order to bring our technology, microfluidics and automatization of their current protocol into the final products. Together we set up a team, collaborate and make it happen. Now, lab on a chip, um, it's being used, it's being developed. Um, there are questions of the cost. Do you see the continued market share increase of lab on a chip, or have we reached an equilibrium where the cost is justified in some cases, but too expensive in others? Well, I, I, I see this increasing in the future a lot. And the reason, the main reason is that now is where the technology is really bringing this kind of technology into the market for the first time in a solid basis. Now, it, the, the, the technology which is targeted in the market is not the, the last technology that has been developed within the, the, in, the, in the field. It's the first one which was crossing a little bit at the beginning. And there are more and more new techniques which are reinforcing this approach and this strategy to bring products into the market. So I see these to be increased in the next five, ten years.